We've been working hard to bring you all the latest up-to-date developments, advice, as well as how our region is coping during the coronavirus outbreak. But as the virus spreads swiftly worldwide, I've been talking with people in France, Austria and the United States on how ordinary life has changed dramatically in the past week alone. Gemma is originally from Northumberland and has been living in Paris for over 10 years. She's been on mandatory lockdown since Sunday and faces a fine if she leaves without the right paperwork. I think we can handle the two weeks. I hope that the two weeks doesn't transform into two months. Um, a month would be... I'm trying to take it... I'm trying to think about the two weeks and focus on those two weeks. And, you know, if, if I get doubled up, then, you know have a mental breakdown at that moment then. Like in France, Austria is limiting people's movements across the nation, with people only being allowed out of their homes for work, food shopping and to help others. I think the country is just trying to keep its head down, reduce the, the level of cases, but to be honest, from my perspective, I'm taking it day by day and just seeing how it... Um, how it develops and being really careful with um, how I approach things. Uh, we're all working from home and I feel really lucky that I'm able to do that. In the United States, coronavirus cases are jumping each day in their hundreds and states are ordering more shutdowns. So this is Arizona um, in the southwest of the US and generally feeling a bit better about being out here just because I came out from New York, where it was getting um, pretty scary, uh, but out here it's a lot more open space, um, so people are in their cars a lot more, which I think naturally leads to a bit more distancing. And a little closer to home in London, it could be the first city in the UK to face a lockdown similar to those seen in other countries, as it remains the city with the highest level of infection. The streets are looking a lot emptier than usual. Uh, the home office is set up, which is a bit weird, but um, what else are we to do? It's uh, quite strange days, three hours in the supermarket the other day to check out to buy basic groceries. Uh, in the creative industries, it is catastrophic because we all rely on productions, TV productions, film productions to happen. And when filming can't happen, we lose work in the music industry as well and the sync industry. So uh, everything's kind of on, on hold. It's a strange... Um, strange passage. We'll have to see how things blow over, but it definitely is going to have knock-on effects. The British government is urging people to heed their advice when it comes to social contact as schools shut and people refrain from pubs, clubs and theatres as the whole country teeters on the brink of total lockdown.